Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. On this series strategy game, and we are, of course, returning to our Let's Play series of Command. Now, last time we did have quite a bit of a trouble striking the Russian airbase up here with our F-35s. Both of them were shot down as they approached the target, and because they are not quite stealthy enough, even though one of them was jamming, did make much of a difference, so yeah, we have to try something else, and I have prepared a little bit for that. So we have got a couple of air, a couple of units here in the air. Can I actually see that by V? Yeah, you can see it's a lot of aircrafts that are assembling here, um, and these guys are going to try to strike at this airbase. Hopefully, doing better than the uh, episode before the last one when we did lose a significant amount of aircrafts down here. So, uh, let's see what we've got um, and how we do want to assemble that. I've got four F-35s that are going to go again, sort of around the back of, these, um, of the enemy here, see whether we can spot them um, a little bit here, see whether we can do anything in the back there, um, maybe find high value targets, just maybe stay just vigilant and be able to flank them around over there. Um, now, we do need to strike against this airbase pretty quickly because by now, our main force is about 220 miles away from them uh, and that I think is extremely close to, let's see the contact report, uh, the maximum range here of these guys which is 215 miles so we are by now within their anti-air range as our aircrafts start over here and um, it's unlikely that they'll be exactly able to strike us down here uh, but I'm not feeling comfortable with that so what I've done is I've ordered our guys to go a little bit slower now at 5 knots. Uh, these guys are still cl trying to close up. Suppose we can move up our anti-air cover over here. Just a little bit. And then let's see what we've got in terms of our aircraft. So our strike group will consist of 5 ECM aircrafts. So electronic countermeasure aircraft that I'm going to send out in a little bit sort of straightforward fanned out way um, like this. And all of these guys are going to be using their... Can I actually do that like this? Yeah, I think that should deal with that. Yeah, so these guys are of course going to be trying to jam uh, the enemy installations and specifically, uh, of course, their, their ability uh, to strike at us with their pretty much unbeatable SA-21 so far. Right, so that's the job of these guys. And then we've got the DAD Group 1, which is 20 aircraft strong, so a bit, pretty big group over here. Um, and these guys um, are carrying the AAGM, sorry, the AGM-88, so an anti-radiation missile. We've got 80 of these, and these are going to be forming our main strike force. And these guys are going to be coming in after the ECM aircraft, um, and probably going to go very low over here, trying to come in below their radar coverage, um, and as far as we can uh, into the strike range of these guys. It's about 70 miles, so it shouldn't be that far away. In fact, let's make sure that, so that's 220 miles. So I think we need to come to about 150. That's about over here. Don't need to really be coming in much closer than that. So I think that's fine. Um, what we're gonna do though, is we're gonna come in, try to come in quite low over here. So let's say over here, um, and at this point, at the, at the very least, I would like to be you to be on the minimum possible altitude, and that should be okay. Right, so that's that group number one, uh, 20 aircraft. Then we've got, there should be another one, that group number two. Where are you? Seed, striker, air sweep. Well, I know there's some. Uh, by the way, you can see some of these aircrafts are still launching. Well, um, let's jump ahead for a second then. Air sweep, air sweep, air sweep. De yeah, there's dead group number two. That's another four aircraft. Not the uh, most, of course, but still, I think they're going to be useful. Uh, they're going to follow a very similar pattern over here where they are going to try to approach uh, the coast from sort of a minimum altitude level. Really? Okay, yeah, let's try to do that that way then. What's that specific to, to this one over here? Okay, yeah, that's fine. But right now you're using high altitude. Yes, that's okay, right. So yeah, that's the that group. Then we've got seed aircrafts. They are carrying similar missiles. Slightly uh, less effective, but still pretty good. And I think very similar range with 70 miles probably, yes. 
indeed they do have that so that's okay and they're going to come in on a very similar pattern over here um, as are you guys so all of these guys are going to be the main strike force we've got a bit of long range cover here in the form of the super tomcats and they're going to stay a little bit behind see whether they are going to launch any s uh, any mig 35s uh, which would be pretty disastrous towards us right and then of course we've got the strikers over here with the JSOL. JSOL does have a very decent range of 45 miles um, but it is very likely to be shot down so I don't really have high hopes uh, for these guys specifically as they do need to come in quite close uh, but nevertheless we're gonna fly them in like that and see whether they can do anything for us. More importantly though we've got four air groups over here that are called sweepers and these guys are important because there are a lot of SU-35s up here in the air um, and I definitely don't want to deal with these two uh, well I do definitely do want to deal with these uh, I should say um, by sending out a couple of fighters in front of our main group like that and that should deal with that very nicely let's resume the game over here and see whether you guys are all doing what I asking you to what I'm asking you to do yes you are indeed jamming uh, so that's fantastic uh, you guys can actually go to cruise speed that is fine you are doing that anyway you're doing that as well how about you here as we won you're not doing that okay let's get away from the manual override here just have you cruise up yeah the other guys I'm fine with you being a little bit slower you want you can also be a little bit slower um, but I do want the fighters in the front that's for sure you're fast you're fast you're fast that's all fantastic Um, you actually also just loitering did ask a couple of these guys to loiter just so uh, they're not burning undue fuel as they are advancing on the target over here uh, one of our bulldogs over here one of the SU uh, F-35s is also jamming that's number one other one closest and that's fine Right, and as these guys are coming closer towards over here, uh, we are seeing that they are spotting a lot of these anti-air installations. Um, and they're going to be popping up here over time, uh, which is fine. It's going to take a while to sort all of that out in terms of positioning, uh, but we are sending one of the F-35s down here, more or less to triangulate these positions, so that we are a little bit sh um, sure where exactly they are. Um, and as they are popping over here, I'm going to mark them as hostile, because we're definitely knowing that an anti-air installation that is in hostile territory over here um, is definitely hostile so yeah I think that's all right oh, interestingly enough we are seeing something down here um, and that is still that gecko down there which I think just can't be that effective anymore right yeah okay we are seeing a couple of aircrafts here that's okay I believe uh, let's briefly make sure that our guys down here are pretty much as I want them to be. You know what, you guys could I actually be a little bit slower. I find sweepers are in front, then we've got the strike group in the back. That's fantastic. Yeah, good stuff. You guys are sort of passing along over here. Um, that's okay, let's actually come up a little bit closer like that. Right, yes, and definitely all of this hostile, hostile, hostile. Don't quite know about the ships, but yeah, it's very likely they are. Good. What have we got in terms of enemy aircraft? Mostly SU 35s, and that are more or less close. And I do think, wait a minute, I do have another group over here. That's Eyeball, eyeball 2. So you guys are responsible uh, for finding the enemy, basically. Uh, and let's make sure that you're using a radar, actually. And in case we've got anything else, also that right so it seems like these two guys mig-29s are coming up towards us so um let's make sure to use air sweeper number one over here uh, on these guys and you know what you can actually go on military speed i think that's going to be all right so that you're coming up a little bit faster and then maybe some of the other guys and yeah hopefully you'll be able to engage these guys and what is your range it's probably around 60 miles yes it is so this is over here yeah i think that's okay you are outranging the other guys i'm not sure what these are it's, it's probably the ecm guys over here um well you know what in in that case can i actually ask all of you here to be slightly slower 
Does it? Does that register for all of them, or just for the first one? Ah, oh, it's just for the first one. Well, that's okay. Let's go and loiter speed here with these guys. I don't want them really to be the ones that are engaging, um, but rather the air sweepers because they're dedicated for that. Right, yeah. Okay, apparently they are. I'm not sure why these guys are now changing course. It, ooh. You know what? I think this guy has spotted us. In that case, uh, let's make sure to engage him with at least two missiles. And let's actually turn on our sensors um, in terms of OCM and radar. That's fine. There we go. Sending one missile there. Two missiles. It's not ideal to be using the missiles on the uh, F-35s that way. Because I would like them to be rather in the back there a little bit. And look at that, the SU-35s. I do think it has spotted us at this range already. So that is a little bit uh, disheartening. But yeah, what can we do? Okay, what we can do then is take the the air group, uh, the air sweeper one here. Send them a little bit further north and just make sure that we are engaging that way. And that I think should be okay. Right, look at that. These guys are trying to disengage over here. They are speeding up probably diving down, but with two of these missiles I'm feeling relatively confident uh, that we are hopefully able to kill him, especially as we are at very close range, so there should be no negative modifier in that regard. A couple of you guys have said that I should be firing at a uh, better, better range. But look at that, both of these guys have actually passed him there, so that is not ideal. Let's send another missile this way. Yeah, he's very agile, but it's probably going to launch at us very soon as well, uh, which again is not ideal. And the fact that the F-35 is not a very agile fighter plane is is a little bit un um, unfortunate. Also, it does have no other other means of attacking other than this these uh, AM-120, which is fine. It's a, it, it's a decent long-range uh, engagement, but it does, for example, not have any cannon or anything like that. So... With the payload as is, yeah, you can see the trouble over here. Um, some of our missiles are missing, and that is an issue. Right, let's make sure to get you a little bit lower then, just so that you can launch that last missile there. Come on, why are you not launching? You should be launching. There we go. Let's go in high speed over here. Yeah, and this guy is now retreating. Hopefully we should be able to get out of here. Yeah, and that is the issue with the F-35. Uh, uh, um, it cannot really sustain a long engagement over there. Okay, you guys, as we won, I think these guys are well within range now. So what we're going to do down here uh, is engage them. And indeed, you know, look, this 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 is what I'm talking about. Um, the F-18 can carry six AIM-120 missiles. So that's a substantial boost um, of a, at least 50% about the F-35. Plus it can carry side ones, plus it has a gun. So yeah, I think that's much much better than than the other guys. So okay, that's two twenty six. That's okay. And then we've got two twenty seven over here. Uh, you're also gonna get two missiles. Oh, I didn't know I can double click. Oh, that's fine. Okay, fantastic. And um, let's make sure to turn on our radar and our electronic countermeasures in case we do have any. I'm not sure we do. Uh, but that might be okay. Right, you're actually not able to engage them now, are you? Well, that's curious. Why not, then? Weapon cannot engage this target for another couple of seconds. Well, that's curious, isn't it? Okay, you guys... Well, you know what? I'm not I'm not too sure here with these guys and, and their radar, so we're going to keep them disengaged. Oh, first missiles are coming in here from Air Sweep 1. 
that's nice to see and let's get as we want and get it to be on a little bit more conservative speed setting over here as you are closing in with these guys there there's another flank up here we are starting to see their positioning here a little bit better um, which is also nice for the interface because this is absolutely cluttered right okay you are at least running away that's nice yeah and this guy is I think trying to catch up with us let's see whether he goes above 400 a 480 knots doesn't seem like it it seems more like he's approaching that level he's also extremely low which is interesting he's he is remaining low <coughs> excuse me right let's see how how well we're doing down here what are these two missiles are you launching against this guy why see something is really off over here because this guy <coughs> is launching at a target 100 miles away and the missiles are only reaching 60 miles there's no way these guys are going to be here within time I mean these guys are traveling 2500 knots these guys here are definitely on afterburner speed so they are extremely fast a thousand knots but they're not going to cover half of the distance over here in the time that the AIM 120 takes them and these guys do not have the settings set up correctly I do not know what's going on over here this guy is set to No, sorry, is it, it's over here. It's set to max range. And the max range of these missiles is 60 miles. This is definitely not leading to a credible intercept. Well, let's first see what's going on down here. Right, fantastic. Two missiles, two hits. Um, unfortunate that so many more missiles are now in the air. Uh, but I suppose that's fine. Right, um, what I do not know is whether there are any substitute air missiles that have been sent from over here now. Um, let's try to identify whether anything is up there. What are you guys doing? Something weird. Why are you returning to base? You should not be returning to base. You have ample of fuel, you have ample of... Okay. <coughs> yeah, let's, let's try to get them... To, to the front over here um, and I suppose I'd like it to be on minimum altitude over here just to make sure that if these guys are sending surface air missiles at us right at this second uh, they're not too engaged already right let's try to get these guys here I think that would be a very nice fine fine next sweep against these guys there fantastic good stuff how are you guys doing? Have you formed up nicely now? Yes, it does seem like you have, so that's that's good. Right, I think you can come up a little bit more like that. And your radar is on, isn't it? Yes, it is. So, yeah, we are seeing good details on these guys over here. You're climbing, you're going relatively fast, but I don't think you've seen us. You might. We are turning our rear to you, which means you might be a little bit more... unfortunate that we have already sent home one of our S, uh, F-35s over here. What are you doing? Sending more missiles that way? I mean now it's at least a little bit credible. But still not really. It's a weird, it's a weird configuration. I don't know why it does that, really. Okay, so anyway, the other air sweepers are over here. So let's send them up a little bit more like that. You could potentially try to hunt him down. Let's also make sure that our ECM aircrafts are brought forward more. Like so, that's fine. And as we have two, I suppose you can take the sort of, let's bring you in the center, you're on the right flank here. And you're on the left flank there, that's fine. You're coming up this way, that's okay. I think you might soon be able to engage him actually. 
Are you on a suspicious speed setting or anything? No, that, so that's nice to see. Right. Yeah, definitely hostile. All of this, definitely hostile. Right, I'm afraid these guys will will not quite reach the enemy over there. But that should be okay. Right, let's come up more directly towards him. So that at least our next missiles might be hitting him. Yeah, but you can see one of them is pattering out, so it just does make sense. Oh, there are more aircraft over here that are launching. Are you launching further missiles? Yes, you are. Now I do think that makes some sense. Right, okay, let's grab the you guys down here. Um, and let's have you go a little bit faster. Cruise speed, I think, should be all right. You're quite high, aren't you? You are cruise speed, minimum altitude. Cruise speed, minimum altitude. Minimum altitude and cruise speed. Yeah, so now you're all coming in, that's fine. Good. MiG 35 is up there. Well, that is is a big threat to our strike group. So there is one thing we can do about that, and that is take our long range air cover up over here on actually much faster speed than this, please. Yeah, let's get you over there fastly. I think you're a little bit behind. But yeah, that would be nice. I think at about 90 miles we can engage them. So it would be fantastic if you are over there a little bit faster. How much till bingo fuel? 40 minutes or 400 miles. And that's dropping fast, isn't it? No, not quite. So 400 miles. I think that's going to be all right then. Right, let's see whether you guys are going to be able to kill this guy off. That would be fantastic, actually. Um, and very nice indeed. Come on, come on, come on. Jesus. It's missing. Why, why was it missing? Yeah, final hit probability of around 50% there. Okay, you have now launched your last missiles against this guy. Let's see whether that is going to be enough. And I think you can go to loiter speed because I don't actually want you to close in on this guy. I just would like you to be disengaging as soon as possible. Are these MiG-35s? Is anyone... F You've spotted me. Look at that. Do you think this guy has just changed course to, to an intercept course? And these guys definitely have. So that's interesting. We've spotted a missile. I think it's from over here. Yes, that's not necessarily quite as bad. Because as these missiles are closing in, this guy will lose his firing lock. So not too concerned about that actually. Yeah, I think these missiles already have self-destructed. Ah, but this is worse. So this is a surface to air missile. These guys are now engaging us and that's bad so let's get towards low altitude and and try to get out of here uh, with these guys not sure what you are engaging but it's definitely not looking good but i think our jammers should be safe certainly hope so but the c group you're all on very low altitude Yeah, so four missiles over there. Not good, certainly not good for us. I had hoped that we'd be a little bit safe over here. Jesus. Okay, let's bring you home. Ah, damn it. He's got his firing, um, he's got his target lock on. So I suppose what we must do then is Ooh, you are very high indeed. 
let's turn around over here and let's try to engage you with at least one missile uh, I can double click so let's do that uh, one missile from both of these aircraft and actually of course you do need to turn your radar on for that so yeah let's try to do that also just to um, just to get him to to drop his his missile basically yeah well we are seeing more of those but are these guys changing calls I wonder more missiles being shot by this guy but I don't think they are quite as credible a threat as as you might suppose See whether Chav Leng Chav is going to be useful. Ooh, more more anti-air missiles. This is not looking good, my friends. This is definitely not what I do like to see. Otherwise, this missile not dropping. Come on, just shoot him down, please. Why on earth are you so bad at shooting him down? This cannot be all right. I'm not sure whether these guys are going to hit anything. I think we might have evaded them. What are you going to do? You shouldn't be engaged. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, so the problem here is you guys are engaged defensively. And that does mean... That does mean that you're not attacking. So let's turn off automatic evasion so that you're turning around over there and launching a missile at this guy then yeah like that perfect okay you are evading there that's nice you guys are doing fine as well let's get you out come on are you, are you, re are you engaged defensively you can return to base please it's nice that these missiles are engaging over there. That's actually lovely, although not not absolutely not planned. Yeah, and you're in fact not really targeting him. Okay, at least we have hit him over there. That's nice, and it does look like these missiles are passing by us harmlessly. So that's fantastic to see. You guys are now engaging them over there. That's that, that's actually all right. Yeah. Why are you, you know, you're going up in altitude. Yeah, I think you were evading before. You should try to get away from him. These MiG-35s now are a problem. Okay, let's make sure to turn on the radar on the Super Tomcats. Like so. And then what I would like to do is allocate at least two missiles to each of these make 35s and if they are launching a little bit early I wouldn't mind too much uh, but let's see what's gonna happen over there okay you guys can actually also try to engage them even though it's gonna be extremely difficult for you right what I suppose we could do though is try to pull back with our ECM aircraft here a little bit don't really want them to be engaged by these guys as we before okay you can come in as well that flanker is busy over there and you're trying to engage him which is fantastic couple of surface air missiles over there ooh it's actually certainly hope you're not engaging our aircraft like that right that being said I think this might be a very good place to put in a card so let's see what we've done over here we've um, our fighter sweep was relatively successful so far I would say uh, we've uh, taken out a couple of there. Who's launching at this guy? You? Oh, come on, this is stupid. Um, well, I was saying uh, we were relatively successful in taking out a couple of their fighters um, that are blocking the base towards us. Uh, we were a little bit unlucky in that this F-35 here uh, was actually... Are you engaging him, maybe? No. No, 
that doesn't look like an intercept, does it? So let's look at that. They are going about 2,300. It's a little bit more than three times. So if you are over here, is that three times as much as that? It could be. Well, in that case, um, I think what we should do over here is uh, you, come on, you, um, actually do do turn off at least your radar set. And I think you might have a home on jam capability. So you know what? Uh, we are also going to turn off the electronic anti uh, the electronic countermeasures here. And I suppose we can fly a little bit directly away, and that way we should be definitely out of their engagement range. I suspect they were aimed at something over here and are just passing harmlessly, um, but I don't want them to turn on their sensors and just randomly hit our F-35s. That would not be great. Anyway, I was saying that the F-35 there um, is trying to escape. We could, of course, engage this flanker over here, but I don't think it's it's quite as, as worthwhile. Um, these MiG-35s over here are concerned to me. And I suppose what we could do is try to fly this way and with the with the F-35. The MiG-35s are concerned to me and our F-35 could could maybe engage them from the rear. Might just be possible, but we'll have to see. Uh, our long range cover usually can engage them from about 90 miles away. Um, they'll say 160 miles now, but so that's 70 miles. You're going 750 miles. So, yeah, it's about a tenth of an hour or so. Well, you are coming in as well at 700. So let's call that a twentieth. Uh, in about three minutes, you can engage. Uh, but I am concerned about these guys engaging our air sweepers over here. You know what? In fact, since you could potentially engage them, I think that's definitely what you should do. So if it's at all possible, um, I think I would like you to in shoot two missiles um, at these F-35. Super Hornets against um, MiG-35s. I was saying F-35. No, Super Hornets against MiG-35s. Not a good deal for us. But, um, since we are in range over here, um, I think it's something that we can viably at least try to do and, and try to take them out that way. Um, I'm also suspecting that they are going to launch more surface-to-air missiles very, very soon. Uh, and we'll need to be mindful about that. We are still ways away from being able to engage them. So, wait a minute, The our actual target is this guy over here. That is currently 92 miles away. Um, so that at least you need to come in 12 miles closer, which is not that far away actually. So let's try to get, let's see. So we've got these guys all are basically the same in that regard. So you, 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 and you, you can all, I think, come towards over here, and then you are definitely capable um, of engaging them, and that should be fantastic. Right, and then we've got the striker group uh, with the JSOL. You've got a range of 45 miles, so you need to be significantly closer. So again, that's this is about 90 miles, so you need to be 45 miles in. So that's around over here. That's fine, yeah. You are following minimum altitude, that's okay. Bingo fuel is going to be a little bit away, so that is nice as well. Let's try to bring in the electronic countermeasures uh, towards over here, all of them, basically, so that we've got more or less the same. Same setup that way. Yeah, I think that's okay. You are trying to get home, are you? You're returning to base as ordered. Uh, yeah, that's fine, but do stay low, please, as, as long as possible. Mostly so that you are not um, being engaged by any of the anti-air installations. Yeah, that's fantastic. Good. You know what? I think I would like you actually to be... Let's try to bring you around over here and maybe engage the MiG-35s. MiG-35s will be killer force. Uh, other than that though, there's just a SU-35 over there, another one over there, one over here, two over there. But yeah, that I think is something that we can deal with. Let's mark all of this sh stuff as hostile, that's okay. 
Right, that being said, we're way over time. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope to see you around next time. Bye-bye.